Hello, I'm Cesar, a technical account manager here at AWS in San Jose, Costa Rica. Today, I'm going to show you how to turn on reverse DNS functionality for Amazon Route 53 with APTR record. Let's get started. If you're using on-premises SMTP servers with their own public IP address and you want to use Route 53 to resolve reverse DNS, you can create a public hosted zone to create a reverse DNS or PTR record. As you can see, I've already logged into the AWS Management Console. Now, let's navigate to the Route 53 page. Let's start with creating the hosted zone. Choose Hosted Zones. Then, choose Create Hosted Zone. Note that for this video, I'm using the example IP address 192.168.1.2. So, for the domain name, let's enter the name as 1.168.192.in address ARPA. Then, choose Create Hosted Zone. After the hosted zone is created, let's create a PTR record in the hosted zone. Choose Create Record. In the name, let's enter 2. This creates a host or PTR record as 2.168.192.in address ARPA. Select record type as PTR. In the value field, enter the fully qualified domain name of the SMTP server. For this example, I'll name it as us-mail.example.com. Choose Create Records. After the PTR record is created, ask your internet service provider to set up delegation to the name servers in the reverse hosted zone. In this example, I'll provide these four name servers to my ISP so that they can set up the delegation for me. Depending on the time to live of the previous NS record, which might be cached in the end user local DNS servers, it can take some time for this new setup to take effect. If example.com has multiple IP blocks, you must create additional reverse hosted zones with corresponding PTR records that you want your IP address to be resolved to. If you're using elastic IP addresses for your servers, create an A resource record set that points to the correct elastic IP address. Then, go to your elastic IP settings and update reverse DNS accordingly. Note that you only need to create a public hosted zone for delegation when the IP address belongs to an ISP and is not an elastic IP address. If you're using non-AWS resources and your IP addresses belong to a third party, for example, another cloud service, Use the method provided by the owner of your IP addresses to configure reverse DNS. In some cases, the owner of the IP addresses must set up the reverse DNS for you. In addition, use the method provided by the domain registrar to update the domain with the name servers for the Route 53 hosted zone. Now you know how to turn on reverse DNS functionality for Route 53 with a PTR record. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.